So I'm about to head out on my first actual like overnighting trip with the van. We went camping last week, but that was like at a regular campsite. So this will be my first time actually like finding somewhere to park, sleeping in the van. We got the bed finally built in the back. I'm about to go get gas and grab JC, my girlfriend. And then we're gonna freaking go to Santa Cruz. So we made it to Santa Cruz. We missed sunset, unfortunately, but we're gonna go into this world market to use the restroom. My lenses won't fit in the under compartment. We got a bar, dude. Look at all these pool tables. You think we can go swimming? <laughs> That was so good, dude. So good. We just got to a good spot to park for the night. There's a couple of other like camper rigs next to us, which is kind of nice because safety in numbers or whatever. We had fun at a bar when we got into town, had a drink, played some pool. We had a and nice time. Now we're gonna chillax and then we're gonna get to sleep. So we're just waking up. We slept on the side of the road in the van last night. And if you look out our window, you can see the ocean. It's right there. And then over on the other side, if you look through the curtain, you got Highway 1. And there's our neighbors. Nice little night. It was kind of nice to have other people there. Because it's like, while we didn't have as much like privacy it was nice to have that peace of mind that we're not the only ones sleeping here i'm not used to this yet so it's like a little scary it's like oh what if someone tells us to move oh yeah i don't want to get murdered too i guess we got machete. yeah i have a machete hey yo don't fuck with me bro pepper spray do not frick with us we will frick with you back <sighs> So heading forward this morning, we're gonna head into Davenport and see if we can find, find a place to eat breakfast. And then we're gonna try to go to Davenport Beach and Sharkfin Cove. And then we're gonna wait for cars to pass. And then we're gonna head back into Santa Cruz and see what we can get done there. It should be kind of fun. And then we're just heading home tonight. Just simple day trip, you know. So we've got these awesome cliff faces like a hundred feet from our car up there. We were driving here last night and we couldn't even like see any of this because it was just dark. But now it'll be a fun drive back into Santa Cruz and stuff. <laughs> down, all those down there. They look like almost like baby sea lions. Baby sea lions down there. Baby You're a baby loaf. We ended up changing the plan because I was able to get signaled by the beach and there's not really anywhere to get food in Devonport that works for JC because she got some allergies. So we're gonna run into Santa Cruz and go ahead and just get breakfast there. And then we're gonna hang out there and do like our bike ride we were planning and stuff. And then we're gonna head back up to Devonport to get that beach and uh, shark fin coat. Got the food, it's oatmeal, and parfait, and breakfast sandwich. Can I have some No. No, I don't want to. 
biking along this trail and we found this awesome little cliff spot with all these cool rocks. There's a cave over there. And JC's a biker girl. Give us a model pose. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, just barely. Eh, I feel like it's worth it to just... Okay, you guys take the fire off. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're going to. So I was gonna do some parkour over at uh, UC Santa Cruz, but when we got there, we started looking around and I couldn't find where the spots were. And I was just kind of getting tired because it's getting hotter and I forgot to bring shorts. So we decided to just take a little siesta in the van and chill. And now we're gonna go see if I can find some swim trunks because I forgot them and then we're gonna grab some coffee to recharge and then we're gonna go hit the cool beach coastal spots and then we'll probably head home after that. What? And you're just like frowning, you're like this, you're like... It's cause I was looking into the sun. Oh, I thought you were like <laughs> worried about So the I got dog. these swim trunks for 10 bucks. Now we're gonna go get some coffee to refuel. And hit the freaking beach, bro. I parked so awfully in this parking place. We got our caffeination. And now we're heading to the beach to get some swimming. To the beach. And let's go get a beach. Mm -hmm. Each careful, baby. I wanted the rear end. That scared. <laughs> it was weird because they were like going, but then yeah. they weren't. Then if we had crashed, then I would have had the dash cam to prove that it was my fault. <laughs> in the scary trash tunnel. Wouldn't that be crazy? It would be crazy. Spooky tunnel. I kind of want to go explore it, but Echo! It's uh, the sun's about to set and I don't have a flashlight, so we're not doing that. We stayed at that beach a little too long. Now we're trying to rush to get to the other one before the sun sets. The sun is setting! Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna twist my- Look at that. So sick. Let's get down there.
we were able to get here and get some cool shots and stuff before the sun fully set. We're gonna see if we can get up on top of the cliff there and catch it, go over the horizon. Ain't we gonna do that? We gonna do that. And we gonna what, do that. What are we gonna do after that? Go get dinner at freaking Chili's or something. Listen? Mm hmm what are we gonna do? We're gonna listen to Solar Power by Phoebe Burton. <laughs> 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 my lord. She told us on her ad online that you gotta listen to it after a day out in nature, preferably with the beach. So we're doing it. So we missed the actual sunset, but that is okay. We're gonna settle it. One last view of the cool guy, Co GCC? No, CGC. CGC? I do see. No, you said CGC, like CJC. I do see JC. Spotted. On the lettuce farm. We're heading back. Our trip is coming to a close. We haven't listened to Phoebe Bridger's Lord yet. Well, we're doing that once we're Technically, at the Technically, you said solar power, and solar power has vocals of Phoebe Bridger in it. You're right. Bridger's so. Yeah, it's great. Thank you, Thank you very much.